Hello everybody, today we'll explore a bunch of useful tricks to help you use your Mac in the most effective way. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. macOS is a powerful operating system with lots of functions and features, and the main goal of this video is to help you master all of them. No matter how experienced you are with this operating system, I am sure you can find something new and useful today. We will look both into basic things and advanced tricks to boost performance, organize your time better, and make your work with macOS more pleasant and comfortable. So. Let's begin. Mac computers have integrated sets of key shortcuts, which system architects added by default. However, you can also create your own key shortcuts to start any app. To add one, open System Settings, then go to Keyboard. Open Keyboard Shortcuts and then App Shortcuts. Click on the plus button and choose an application for which you want to create a shortcut. Then set the combination of keys to use and finally click Done. Now you can press the selected key shortcut on your keyboard to open the chosen application. Another useful feature is renaming files in batches. If you have groups of files that you want to rename quickly, it can be done quickly and easily on your Mac. To rename multiple files, you should select a group of files to be renamed Click on the first one, and then hold down the Shift key and select others. Now that you have selected a group of files, right-click on them and choose Rename. After that, you can replace the text or edit and change the name format. This way, you can quickly rename multiple files in one go. Other features include screenshots and screen recording. Uh, there are special key shortcuts to take a screenshot. Uh, you can choose to take a screenshot of the, of the entire screen or only a part of it. By default, all screenshots will be saved automatically to your desktop and they will appear in its right corner. To take a screenshot of the entire screen, press Shift plus Command plus 3. To take a screenshot of a part of the screen, press Shift plus Command plus 4, then select the area which the screenshot should include. To record the screen, press Shift plus Command plus 5, and then choose the record type Capture Entire Screen or Capture Selected Window and click Capture. To stop the record, click on that stop button in the upper right part of the screen, and just like screenshots, the record will also appear on your desktop. If your Mac has macOS Ventura or a newer version of the operating system, you can use the Stage Manager feature to arrange all your windows and apps and then switch between them. To enable this option, click on the Control Center icon in the upper right corner of the screen. In the window that opens, click on Stage Manager to turn it on. As a result, various apps will appear on the left, while the app you are working in will come to the front central part of the screen. Different windows of the same application will be arranged one over another. And if you want to use two or more apps at the same time, you just need to drag other apps to the one which is opened, or minimize the ones you don't use. As you can see, it's quite convenient. To disable Stage Manager, open Control Center and click on its icon again. This will turn Stage Manager off. 
One more useful option is starting apps automatically when the operating system boots. If you use certain apps quite often, you'll be able to configure the automatic startup at logon. To do it, open System Settings, General, Login Items. To add an application, click on the plus button and search it in Finder. Also, you can choose something, for example, a document that should be opened when you log on. Select the ones you need and click Open. The item will appear on this list. Another way to quickly add an app to this list is to right-click on the app icon and in the menu that appears, open Options, open at Login. This step will add this application to the automatic startup list. Another feature is a guest account on Mac. You can extend the functionality of your Mac by adding several users. It is especially convenient when there are several people working on it. Each user can configure their own wallpapers, settings and apps that suit their preference. Moreover, you can add a guest user, so anyone who wants to use your Mac temporarily will not have access to your personal files or documents. To add a new user, just open System Settings, Users and Groups and click Add User. To activate a guest account, click on the I icon and drag the slider Allow Guests to log in to this computer to turn this option on. This will allow guests to log in without a password, but with certain restrictions. The next feature is AirDrop. It is designed to send files between Apple devices. To start sending, right-click on a file and choose Share. Then select AirDrop and choose the device where you want to send a file. If the device you'd like to send the file to is not displayed, open Finder and click AirDrop on top of the list. Allow the Discover option and choose Contacts Only or Everyone. After that, you'll be able to exchange files via AirDrop. Another feature is the opportunity to enable Do Not Disturb mode. Mac computers have an option that lets you concentrate on your work entirely by disabling all incoming notifications. You can turn it on in Control Center. Open it by clicking on the Centers icon in the upper right corner of the screen and then click Focus. This is where you can configure this mode or quickly enable it. For advanced configuration, open Focus Settings. This is where you can choose what to do with notifications from particular apps. Apple Mac has an excellent feature named Keychain, which remembers almost every password for any website that you have ever entered in your browser. Also, this utility can remember passwords for various Wi-Fi networks. Although a Mac can automatically connect to a network which is saved to its settings, you may need to know the Wi-Fi password to connect another device, for example a phone or a tablet. To view any saved password, open Keychain. The quickest way to find this utility is by using Spotlight. Press Command, Space, and type Keychain. After that, use the search function to find a website or Wi-Fi network for which you need the password. Right-click on it and select Copy Password to Clipboard. Otherwise, you can copy it and then enable the option Show Password. After you enter the administrator's password, the password information becomes visible. One more useful trick is copying links quickly. To quickly copy a link in Safari browser, you can use a keyboard shortcut. Press Command plus L to select the entire link. And then press Command plus C to copy it to the clipboard. This method is much quicker than dragging the mouse cursor to the end of the link manually, and it can save your time when you need to copy a link quickly. Here is one more useful feature on your Mac – Hot Corners. Hot Corners in macOS is the feature that lets you perform various actions by activating special commands as you position the mouse cursor on a corner of the screen. This is a convenient way to work with your computer and perform everyday tasks without having to open applications or make a few more clicks than necessary. To configure Hot Corners, open System Settings, 
desktop and dock, and look below to find the hot corners option. This is where you can assign actions for each of the four corners of your Mac screen. For example, you can select lock screen or open mission control. Choose which corner opens Safari browser or any mail client. Open a system settings tab, start a search, manage your files, and so on. These are only a few examples of what actions can be assigned to hot corners. The choice of possible options is, is almost unlimited, so you can customize this feature according to your needs and peculiarities of your work. After you have configured hot corners the way you like, close system settings to save the changes. This feature is great to help you quickly and conveniently manage your computer and improve your work efficiency. Another useful feature is Stationary Pad. It can become a convenient way to reduce the number of required steps in your working process. It allows to open copies of a file by default without changing the original file. Since almost every file can be defined as a template, this feature becomes handy in optimizing everyday tasks such as editing images in Photoshop or dealing with text files or documents in Word. To use this feature, right-click on a file you'd like to use as a template, select Get Info, then check the box for Stationary Pad in the General tab. Close the File Properties window. Next time you open a template file, Finder will automatically create and, and open its copy while leaving the original file unchanged. As you can see, it's a perfect alternative to editing templates and using the Save As command, as they can result in losing or overwriting the original file. With Finder, you can add shortcuts for apps, files and folders to your toolbar. To add a shortcut, open Finder, go to the folder containing the necessary shortcut, hold down the command key and drag the shortcut to the free area on the toolbar. When you start Finder, the added shortcuts will be displayed on the toolbar. Now you can quickly start a required application of Finder Frequently Used Document. And if you often use a number of applications at the same time, use the keyboard shortcut Command plus Tab to quickly navigate between them. As you press Command plus Tab, the queue of apps will show up. By holding down the Command key and pressing the tab repeatedly, you can move from one app to another. When the necessary app is selected, release the keys to switch to it. This is a convenient way to jump from one app to another without having to use the mouse. Summing up, I'd like to point out that macOS has a lot of useful features and options that can make your everyday work with the computer much easier. From hard corners and quick copying to stationary paths in Finder, all these opportunities are there to make your work more convenient and efficient. So now you have a bunch of useful tips to help you optimize your working routine in macOS. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.